In this physics demonstration, microwaves from a transmitter are partially reflected by the hardboard, which goes to the receiver. And if you listen carefully, you can just hear the audio frequency modulation of the microwaves being received at the receiver. When we add a metal plate beyond the piece of hardboard, we get a much louder sound coming from the receiver because microwaves are being reflected from the metal plate as well as from the hardboard and they add together. In some positions we hear a very loud sound because the microwaves reflected by the hardboard and the metal sheet arrive at the receiver in phase and interfere constructively. In other places we hear quite a quiet sound because the microwaves reflected from the metal and hardboard sheets arrive 180 degrees out of phase and we get destructive interference. It's important to emphasise that you're not directly hearing the microwaves. What you're hearing is the audio frequency amplitude modulation, which has been added by the transmitter to the microwaves and then is decoded by the receiver. If we measure the distance between the positions of the metal sheet where we get constructive interference and then when we get constructive interference again we ought to be able to work out the wavelength of the microwaves. So let's zoom in on that bit of video and try and take some measurements. I'm going to mark in red the positions where we hear a loud sound showing that the two reflections of microwaves are arriving in phase and interfering constructively. When we moved the metal sheet further away, the microwave which was reflecting from the metal sheet will have to travel further. And when it has to travel an integer number of wavelengths further, then the wave that's reflected from the metal sheet will be delayed by an integer number of wavelengths. But that means it will arrive in phase again with the reflection from the hardboard, and then it will constructively interfere. So each time we move from constructive interference to constructive interference, the microwave which reflects off the metal sheet must have travelled an extra wavelength. But because the wave reflected off the metal sheet goes there and back, that means we will only have to move the metal sheet half a wavelength for the extra path length that the wave going there and back travels to be one wavelength. I marked the positions of constructive interference as being one and a half centimetres apart, which means one and a half centimetres is half a wavelength, which means the wavelength is three centimetres. And if you look carefully on the microwave transmitter and receiver, on the top they're labelled as three centimetre microwaves. So that all looks very good. 